In this lesson, we'll start by opening up our Mari archive, and we'll start to discuss just a couple things to keep in mind whenever working in Mari. So let's go ahead and we'll launch Mari. Now, in this case, instead of having you start by creating a new project, what I'll go ahead and have you do is start by opening up an archive that I've already provided. So if you download the project files for this course and unzip these, you should see a archive in here called Mari Project File Start. So go ahead and click on this, open that up. So here's our little preview thumbnail. We'll just go ahead and click on that. Give this just a moment to load up. All right, excellent. So by opening up this archive, you can see it already includes the geometry that we're going to be working with. Uh, also, just for kicks, I've gone ahead and just adjusted some of the lights in this particular scene just to give us something visually a little bit more interesting to look at. So I've gone ahead and just adjusted the light. It's on this side of the character to be a little bit more of a blue light. Again, just a matter of personal preference, just to give myself something a little bit nicer to look at. Another nice thing about working with an archive is the fact that inside of this archive, I can go ahead and package up all of the images and the textures that we're going to be using for this course. So if you take a look over in the Image Manager tab, you can see that uh, we already have loaded in here all the images that we're going to be using for projection painting. And this can also contain uh, any kind of painting channels that we may want to distribute along with this. So I already have just a basic color channel that's been created for us. And we'll start to work with that in our next lesson. Now, a couple of things that I want to mention just before we uh, get started with the actual texture painting itself is within Mari, we have basically two different views. We have a perspective as well as an ortho view. Now, typically, whenever it comes to texture painting and projection, I typically like to stay in the ortho view. So within the perspective view, you'll notice as we start to move our camera around, you start to get a pretty heavy amount of distortion, a pretty strong fisheye effect. Uh, now, what this is going to do is start to give us a lot more distortion and a lot more uh, things to have to fix in our texturing process. So just to really make sure that I get uh, textures that are as free of distortion as possible and uh, textures that I have to do a minimal amount of uh, perspective correction on, I typically like to work in the ortho view. Right. And aside from that, I typically find that uh, things like camera movement, navigation, are just a little bit more predictable in the ortho view compared to the perspective. So really, as a matter of personal preference, I find myself very, very rarely in this perspective view. Like I said, I almost always stay in this ortho. So now that we have this uh, geometry that's brought in, we have our images that we are ready to start using. So what we'll start doing in our next lesson is begin painting our first portion of this texture. 